here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus, right down Santa Claus Lane. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is your girl Colors and I'm back with another video and today's video is gonna be about my 28 week fuck date. I just wanna apologize just really quickly before we jump into this fuck date because your girl is extremely tired. It is 11, 13 at night, I'm trying to be super productive. I tried putting on a little face and you know how you have those days where your makeup is just not working? that is today and I apologize in advance if you see the light in my glasses I have to see today I'm not trying to put on no contacts my eyes are irritating me and they're watering which is the reason why it took me over 45 50 minutes to do a simple face of makeup and you know what's the crazy part I actually paid extra money to not have glare in my glasses but lost that money so yeah so enough with the complaining uh we're gonna go ahead and get right into what's going on with me and my belly bump so if you are interested in hearing about my 28th week of pregnancy just keep on watching all right so jumping right into it the first thing and the biggest thing honestly that's been going on this week of pregnancy is that I feel like I'm being crushed by a truck. I cannot breathe, my chest is heavy. It, it's just, mm. I think this is a part of what I was talking about during my 27th week of pregnancy when I was saying that I felt very claustrophobic and stuff like that. It's just that I can't really breathe and I know that's a normal pregnancy symptom that I guess your diaphragm and everything and your heart shifted and everything is just kind of like moving out the way or whatnot. So I, I can't really breathe and it's really affecting me to where it's like sleeping is becoming more difficult just normal sitting down is a little bit irritating I noticed that you know if you're sitting or laying on the couch and if I'm on my side you know the weight of my arm I noticed that it's heavy and it's tough for me to breathe so I literally have to like sit like this if my elbows ashy <laughs> I actually have to flap my elbows open and like play with my phone like this so that I'm not putting extra weight on why did I do that <laughs> So that I'm not putting extra weight on my stomach and diaphragm and all that. But that's a big one for my 28th week. The next thing that's happened is when I went to the OB's office, I noticed that I haven't gained any weight. I'm 181 pounds. So I gained weight, but I haven't gained more weight since last week. So it's generally about the same so i guess that's good i don't know uh the, the ob did say that um she was measuring normal so i guess you know i guess i don't really have nothing to worry about but as of right now i haven't gained any weight but speaking of the ob's office i did go see him and i remember saying in my 27th week update that i was starting to feel a little bit more uncomfortable for whatever reason when i get my cervical checks and stuff like that this week has been honestly no different <laughs> i think i honestly feel more uncomfortable than i have before and i don't know if it's because he's a guy generally i never had any issues with him being a guy or anything like that but I think it's just one of those things that maybe I know I'm getting closer and I'm just very like sensitive about things right now so when he makes certain comments it's a little bit cringy a little bit stuff like that so I don't know what it is but in this situation it really did make me for the first time desire to have a female doctor so on my next appointment, I actually scheduled for my original doctor who actually got me pregnant, who prescribed me the Clomid. I decided to see her again just to see how that is because I know she hasn't seen me pretty much none of pregnancy outside of when I seen her during my hospital video where uh, the whole short cervix thing happened. But I just been a little bit more curious because I don't know why I'm getting more uncomfortable and I just, I don't know. I don't know if 
when it comes to game time that I would feel comfortable just being spread eagle and dropping a baby off. I, I don't know. So that is what happened when I went to my OB's office. Uh, he did do a cervix check. Uh, one of the questions that I do want to ask when I go see fetal medicine the first week of January is that I wonder if me continuously having cervical checks if that is going to be something after the 33 mark that is going to continuously be healthy doing because from some research that i have done it's not really advised to keep checking the cervix because this whole time i have been getting double checked every week <laughs> and now it's just kind of like all right i am clearly over this like i, I am getting over this so yeah, I'm going to ask him that then and then we shall see how it goes. I don't think that uh, when I go to the OB and see the lady that she's going to check my cervix because literally the guy is the only guy at the OB's office that has ever checked my cervix. <laughs> so yeah, that is that. The next thing that has happened is that I have cleaned the nursery out. I haven't been motivated at all. I think I did mention that too, to uh, get prepared for the nursery. We don't have anything in the nursery except for uh, a swing. It's very slow swinging, so I just might just use it as like a lounger type thing and end up getting a different swing. But I just have that. I only have a bookcase, some books, I do have a stroller. I do have a stroller and that's about it. <laughs> so uh, I kind of wanted to clean out everything, organize it because it was like a hot mess and try to figure out everything that we have gotten. I have done that. Uh, we'll see what happens when we get to the baby shower and then after that we'll be quickly trying to gather our stuff together and get the rest of the things that we may need. But oh yeah, I also do have a crib that his mom has blessed us with that should be coming in this weekend. So hopefully one of these days I'm able to film us actually putting that up. But yeah, outside of the crib, stroller in that little lounger thing we don't really have nothing so we clearly are way behind <laughs> but i just like the fact that it's actually clean prepared and we can just actually start putting stuff in there so yeah that is one of the things that i have done the next thing i noticed that i have been a little bit i don't want to say restless because restless have it it isn't the most proper word for what's been going on i haven't been sleeping i've been staying up late hours like last night I stayed up to like almost six o'clock in the morning the night before was like three o'clock in the morning and stuff like that but it's not like I am sleeping all day I literally wake up still at the same time eight nine o'clock or whatever and then get my day going just as normal which ain't much but I'm up and ready and ready to go but I've noticed I have been staying up really late hours hence me making this video really late the next thing that has happened is that i have noticed i have become super super lazy and it's not like i'm tired it's not like i'm exhausted i am exhausted but not nothing out out the normal range outside of me can't breathe child but i noticed that in general i just don't want to do anything like i can care less like David wants to come home. When he come home, he want to watch our shows and everything like that. I have been not interested. I literally just sit there on my phone, listen to YouTube, and just play video games. Like I have been unbothered to budge, move. I can stay in one spot for several hours as long as my body lets me. Outside of eating, I could make me another palette and lay down. So I have become super lazy for no reason in life like of course i have a reason but i just noticed that i just don't want to do anything next thing i have noticed in this week is that this is kind of a big one too is that i have been cramping mildly cramping a lot lately in the last like week or so i've noticed that my pelvis in in my vagina area has been tensing up and I don't think it's Braxton Hicks contractions or anything like that, but I have noticed it randomly to where it will stop me in my track. It's more like period cramps than anything. 
that do sound like Braxton Hits, but I know that usually when you have that, supposedly your whole stomach tightens and that doesn't happen. So I don't know what's going on, but yeah, I've been noticing that and they're kind of uncomfortable, but they're not extremely painful if that makes sense. Another thing that has happened this week is that I noticed that I have mixed feelings when it comes to the birth and center situation. So if you haven't seen my 27th week video, I talked about how I started to sign up to get into the birth center and if I make it to 37 weeks, then I'm able to have my child there and we're gonna be doing birthing classes and stuff like that. And I still wanna do the birthing classes, but at the same time, I have mixed feelings due to when I went to my OB's office, I ran into someone who was planning on giving birth at the hospital that I would give birth at if I go that route. And she had her baby around the 36, 37 week mark. And they end up keeping her baby in the NICU for a week. And my thing is, is that, do I want to give birth at the birthing center, even though it's full term technically? So what if I do deliver that early and my child does need to be in the NICU, uh, even though that the birthing center says they accept people at 37 weeks? Like, do, you know, I don't know. Like, why did her child needs to go to NICU? She was like, he was born seven pounds, 15 ounces. He was very normal, but they kept him for a week. So it just has me like all these extra little thoughts in my head. Also with um, one of the things I mentioned is kind of rushing it because they don't accept people until that time and i basically gotta go there and meet them hi you know it's me colors uh let's deliver this baby now so i don't know i haven't really thought really really hard about it but all of a sudden i just have these mixed feelings about sometimes when you force something to happen it's just not always the grass is greener situation so i am continuously doing my research and continuously self-seeking and thinking hard about what it is that I want. So I am planning on doing my birthing plan really soon. So once I really dig into what it is that I really want my birth to be like, I think it will be even easier. But another thing that has made it hard for me to make a life decision is because I was able to get a doula. <laughs> uh, I haven't met her yet. I have actually um, an intake appointment coming up in the beginning of January that I kind of be intake and then I'll be signed my doula and then we'll be able to meet and stuff like that. So. I don't know if I'm gonna film that process or whatnot. I have to see if that's something that everyone's comfortable with and so on and so forth. But it makes it really hard to be 100% away from the whole hospital idea, even though I really don't wanna. <laughs> I really don't believe that I want to deliver at the hospital, but it makes it more comforting if we do choose that route because I would have that support system. And I believe that when it's time to deliver that David's gonna need help <laughs> supporting me and uh, I I really want to do that even if I went the further center route I really want to do that the fact that my city offers programs to where you can get a doula and stuff like that is amazing so I should be starting that process just as the option to go down and based off of how that goes maybe that'll make my decision a lot easier on whether I want to deliver at the hospital or not oh the next thing that's happened is that I decided to sign up for another hospital tour at a different hospital um uh, i don't know if i'm gonna end up choosing that option i think that because there's a chance i can make it into that 36 37 week mark i don't want to completely close all my options so i decided to sign up for another hospital tour so they will be taking off work and we'll be going to that which is pretty exciting because uh this hospital is a hospital that we was really kind of interested in but we quickly changed our mind based off our own needs so 
I don't know. I just don't want to completely shut any doors. I just kind of want to know all my options and make the best decision for us. So the next one is is kind of gross, honestly. And I'm just gonna tell you in the beginning. It's not like I really care because it you're following my pregnancy journey, and I've talked a lot about my vagina and all this other stuff that's going on. But another thing that's going on is that I noticed that I'm having a lot more bowel movements, uh, diarrhea, you know, all that kind of stuff, constipation and uh yeah it's getting really bad it is it, it and <laughs> i sound shitty no but it, it it is something to take note of because from what i know and what i've been told and what i've read that generally your body is preparing for baby you'll start to have a lot of bowel movements and it will be runny it will be diarrhea and stuff like that and lately it has been like that and i'm just like that is so weird because you know it's not normal of me to do that and it has been moments where i'm just like oh shoot i gotta go like i got to go and i'm just like what's up with this like i don't know i mentioned it to my doctor very briefly but he was so unconcerned and unbothered by what i said he was just like uh that's kind of normal so i don't know but it'll be like sometimes i'll be running child it'll usually hit me when um I'm most exhausted, so I don't know. I'm gonna just keep an eye on that, uh, whatnot, as time gets closer. The next thing that has happened is that, not so much about me, but I love this idea is that he has decided to take six weeks off of work, and I'm just like, <laughs> And then he said he's gonna try to come home early twice a week after that. So I'm just like a kid in the candy store because I feel so blessed because I know there's a lot of women that their partners can't even do that much. And the fact that he can potentially is amazing. So I think that is gonna be all for what has gone on in my 28th week. So let's go ahead and jump right into what's going on with baby in my pregnancy plus app and then we'll go ahead and measure the belly and then we'll go ahead and be on our way out. For my 28th week it says that baby should be around 14 inches in length. It says your baby's eyes are now partially open and those tiny eyelids are now able to blink. Even though the eyes may have some color, the final pigment requires exposure to light. That is something I didn't know. Like I didn't know like the ba the baby's eyes was based off of sunlight. That's crazy. Uh, your baby is able to recognize different levels of light even inside your room. Even though your baby still has to grow a lot, the little body is getting chubbier as fat is deposited under the wrinkled skin. Muscles are developing some tone as well. Your baby has a 95% chance of survival if born at the end of this week. Just hearing the possibility of those words is like, I always come to terms that she's gonna be here. Like, I come to terms, but just to hear it in that tight way is just like, man, when you go through the emotions of being told, I don't know if your baby's gonna survive. I don't know if your baby's gonna make it. Like, be prepared for that if your baby don't make it. And to hear those words and read it, it's just like, oh, she's gonna be here. Let me stop before I get emotional, child. <laughs> for real. Yeah, so that is pretty much all for that. So now let's get to measuring my stomach. I haven't measured, I feel like it's been forever. So I don't know. The last time we measured, I think we was like 40 inches and a quarter. So I wonder what she is now. This is the belly. I have still this third eye that is killing me. I wonder how I get rid of that. That is not cute at all. Why well, I just look, I feel like I just look big. Like I don't look big pregnant. I just feel like I look like, girl, you can hit the gym. <laughs> anyway, let me shut up child, I'm getting tired. Did I grow? I feel like this week I haven't grown. So I feel like I'm gonna still be around that 40 and a couple inches, maybe an inch. So I have grown, but I am about 40 inches and a half and last time I checked we was like here so I only grew like a couple centimeters is that what it is and my belly button is still 
stretching and going away. <laughs> Alrighty then. So, yep, that was baby Isaac. She has grown only a little bit, but she is grown nonetheless. So that is super exciting. I don't think there's anything else that I really need to update you guys on. This is my 28 week of pregnancy. We are definitely in the third trimester and we only have maybe two and a half months or so left so that is pretty exciting and scary at the same time but we are towards the end of the race and that's just a blessing to say in itself so yeah i really do appreciate you guys following me and watching my videos and kind of being with me on this journey it really does mean a lot so thank you once again make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i will definitely see you guys in the next one Game coming right to your mama. Just say